Many years have passed since members of the Greek royal family celebrated their wedding on Greek soil, which was a significant event on the small island of Spetses, with a population of only 4,000 people. A few days ago, the Greek royal house surprised everyone with an unexpected announcement, declaring the end of the marriage between Prince Nikolaos of Greece and Venezuelan journalist Tatiana Blatnik. Prince Nikolaos and Princess Tashiana, after 14 years of marriage, have decided to end their union. Both express the difficulty of this decision, the deep gratitude and respect they have for each other, and the love with which they have walked all these years, the statement said. No one expected such a breakup. The last time they appeared in public was at the funeral of Constantine, Nikolaus's father and Queen Sophia's brother, which took place in February of last year in Windsor, a year after his death. Nikolaus and Tatiana have no children, and there have never been any scandals indicating problems in their relationship. Their wedding took place on the island of Spetses in Greece on August 25, 2010. It was the first royal wedding on Greek soil in 50 years, so it was highly anticipated. Suffice it to say that 380 guests attended the wedding, including a wide representation of European royal houses, and it was covered by 270 journalists from around the world. The groom arrived at the church accompanied by his mother and godmother, Queen Anne Marie of Greece, the ceremony took place, according to the Orthodox Rite, in a small church of the Monastery of St. Nicholas on the island of Spetses in the evening. The page boys, dressed in white, were the grandsons of Constantine and Anne Marie, the children of Alexia and Paul of Greece. Anna Maria, like many wedding guests, wore a flowing pastel-colored embroidered dress. The groom, in turn, chose a pearly gray morning coat, a white shirt, and a light blue tie while Tatiana Blatnik chose her wedding dress from Venezuelan designer Angel Sanchez for her significant day. The classic cut dress with a strapless neckline was made of silk and muslin, and she wore a Chantilly lace bolero to the church, which she later removed at the reception. The length of the veil and train was five meters. Tatiana wore a corsair tiara, which was also worn at her daughter in La Marie Chantal's wedding and after the ceremony, the couple gave their first kiss as newlyweds to the guests and representatives of the international press. Since the Church of Saint, Nicholas is very small and accommodates only about 30 people. Most of the guests had to watch the wedding on large screens set up in the inner courtyard adjacent to the chapel. Nikolaos and Tatiana met in 2003 while vacationing at the Swiss resort of Gistadad, where they were introduced by Marie Chantal the wife of Pavlos of Greece. Since then, they have been inseparable. The romance of the young prince with Australian model Elle McPherson and those who fantasized about Nikolaos marrying Victoria, the heir to the Swedish throne, are things of the past. Tatiana arrived at the wedding accompanied by her mother's second husband, Venezuelan millionaire Attilio Brillenberg. Tatiana's father, Ladislav Vladimir Blatnik, died when she was only eight years old. From the church to the estate where the wedding took place, the couple traveled in a carriage typical of the island, where traffic on the roads is strictly limited. The dinner and subsequent party took place at a private estate owned by a Greek shipowner. Two marquees were erected, their one for dinner and the other for the party. One of the distinguished guests was Elton John, who gave an exclusive concert for the bride and groom and their guests. The Spanish royal family was widely represented at the wedding of Nicolaos and Tatiana as they are family members. Philippe and Letizia, at that time prince and princess of Asturias, arrived in Spetses, as well as Infantis Elena and Christina, the latter accompanied by Inaki Erdangarin. The chiffon dress, with a gathered bodice adorned with a silver ribbon and an asymmetric neckline, was complemented by a matching shawl. The designer, of course, was Philippe Varela. The groom's elder brother, Prince Pavlos, attended with his wife, Marie Chantal, and four of their five children, who served as page boys at the wedding. The younger brother, Aristides, did not attend because in 2010 he was a one-year-old child. Princess Theodora, meanwhile, moved to Los Angeles to pursue an acting career, 
and in 2018 announced her marriage to Matthew Kumar, which was postponed three times. First due to the pandemic, then due to Constantine's death, and finally, apparently, due to financial problems with the groom, a lawyer by profession, who manages a debt collection company. After Constantine's death in 2023, Pavlos of Greece became the new head of the Greek royal house. Princess Alexia of Greece, the elder sister of the groom, attended with her husband Carlos Morales and their four children, Arietta, Carlos, Anna Maria, and Amalia, and Amalia, Philippos and Theodora, the two younger brothers of Nikolaos. Currently, Philippos is married to the wealthy heiress Nina Flor, whom he married in 2020 in Switzerland, and a year later the couple celebrated their religious marriage in Athens, just like his parents, Constantine and Anne Marie, did in 1964. In conclusion, the announcement of the end of Prince Nikolaos of Greece and Tatiana Blatnik's marriage came as a surprise to many, especially considering their 14 years of seemingly harmonious union. Their wedding in 2010 was a celebrated event, marking the first royal wedding on Greek soil in 50 years. Despite the absence of any public scandals or indications of trouble in their relationship, the couple has decided to part ways amicably. The event, attended by prominent figures from European royalty and featuring iconic moments such as an exclusive concert by Elton John, remains a memorable chapter in Greek royal history. As the couple embarks on separate paths, they leave behind a legacy of elegance and grace that characterize their time together. As their marriage comes to an end, it's a poignant reminder that even amidst the grandeur of royalty, relationships are still subject to the complexities of human emotions. The wedding of Prince Nikolaos and Tatiana Blatnik was a momentous occasion filled with hope and anticipation, yet it serves as a testament to the unpredictable nature of love and life's journey. Despite the sadness of their separation, their decision to part with gratitude and respect for each other speaks volumes about their character and the maturity with which they approach this new chapter. As they navigate the challenges ahead, may they find solace in the cherished memories of their time together and the support of their loved ones.